This time, Tizian is not going to have the same success. It's Sun Dayung to remove him. No traces there, by the way, because that is the Silenced M4. That is pure prediction coming out of Sun Dayung. But Searsman on this side, they've got 10 seconds. They have to move now. The bombs hit the deck in the last few. They need to get onto this site, and they haven't managed to clear Zontaras. They've completely run out of time, but Zontaras will mow down the remaining three. Four to one in favor of Big. A good hold on the site, and Spirit just running out of time. The man mountain perched on the site. As you said, those spot on. They were running so low on time that they were in a bit of a desperate mode, a bit of panic station maybe coming in. And in doing so, they were squashed accordingly. Play hell with the defense as well because it isolates Zantares. He's all alone one more time on the site. Well-timed peak though and taps and shuts down Nia. In the back at range with the MP9. They know Patsy's on the A site. They've seen the bomb in his hands. Now they just need to collapse on him. Last round of the half and Zantares taking tons of damage. But so does Patsy. 9 HP remains. This would be an awesome moment for his career. If he could prove oh! exactly why Dexter is on the bench. And Patsy is here. And he's exchanging blows with Tabson. There's enough time for the plant, but although Keto has made up ground, that smoke keeps him a little bit unpredictable. Keto's not sure whether to peek or not, and now he's going to be slowly coming around that corner. Patsy's timed this perfectly. Keto is still unsure as to whether he's hiding in the smoke, still unsure which side of the site he currently resides in, and Patsy oh! spins around! That's why Dexter's not playing! That's why Patsy's here! And Sp With such... Difficult post-plant positions and a smoke down in their eyes and to make matters worse, some <laughs> die young dropping. It seems like Big are going to start that machine rolling down the hill, picking up momentum and Zantares with the Glock with a 3k. Now you said, Tom, on the T side, he is the player to watch out for. The fact he's just picked up three kills like that, that makes me a bit worried for Spirit. Yeah, I'll be honest, like highlighting Zantares on a T side, it, it's probably the easiest prediction ever it's sort of like all the people who said they think big is gonna win this tournament it's like yeah yeah well done you picked the nice boring one <laughs> must be nice around they're gonna have a decent defense and no way to really hold it off other than searson's awp and he just about manages to survive but do they know that someone's already made it to the site tizian fakes it and he's gonna get the kill on tamir he's had a bit of a rough one but here comes the peak for magic's back in his opponent incredibly low and he's just about gonna clutch out the round Orp save, a little bit of, well, time to relax just before getting that defuse and pick up a few extra pieces. Again, he's been phenomenal. Okay, that was unnecessary. Didn't, didn't need to do that. You've killed everyone else. Poor chicken. <laughs> oh, I, I did Look at his eyes. He's cold-blooded, you can tell. He feels cold. not calculated, mate, yeah. <laughs> Just another day at the office. This, for me, was the madness, though. Mia pushes to smoke, gets a frag, backs away again. And I do feel for Searson. On 2 HP, unconfirmed damage, he felt like he had to go for something in the first half. So, yeah, that would be right. He's got seven in the second half, if that's true. It's actually bad. It's like taking him a few rounds to catch back up. And, well, that's a start and a half. Nice shot from Dexter. Denies Searson any real aggression. Interestingly, you mentioned Tizzy, and he's going to pick up the AWP, and he's going to be exactly the same fate. T-side AWPing, normally a struggle, but Dexter making it look easy, and Tabson walks backwards. Two of your teammates have just died from that angle, and Dexter's just taking control. It's not going to be an ace for him, but damn, does he win them the round. And I feel like towards the end of it, they almost made it easy for him. Yeah, this first pick is is so good from Searson, but after that point, you're thinking like, maybe don't peek the guy that's just an absolute animal. Maybe just have a bit of respect to the head big. <laughs> I, I know you want to put him down. We'll be expended, but they may even hear the footsteps. Like, they're making so much noise. They have to have a decent idea that they're now going to be doubling back, and Keto has repositioned. He loses the battle to Dexter, though. It comes down to Tabson, and the timing looks good, but he misses his shot and doesn't expect magics to come back around the corner it gives a 1v2 but again vince this is the man you want and Torres is so good in these positions. It's a clean kill to kick things off, but he's against the man mountain himself, Dexter, who takes the grenade, chops him down to size. One bullet should seal it. Dexter may have to get aggressive to try and bypass this low HP, but Zantares has played it to perfection. Simmers in. 
delicious clutch, and Big will have an 11th round. It's at the cost of four players, though. That is significant within itself, but it's not like Spirit have fantastic economy either. You have to think, like, the, the back... Well, they do have tons of flashes, which can mitigate some of those problems, but it is very difficult, especially when you've just lost Chopper. That makes Long that little bit more tentative. It forces Magix to hold his position, and now Dexter, who desperately would love to have a molly, would love to have a smoke right now, just has to play off this flashbang. Up he comes, that's the bomb down first. He has another flashbang, bounces it off the wall. Another peek could be coming in. Gandalf is clear, but Magix has it locked down. Tabs him now showing his hand, but he's the last player left The 1 HP, and he gets finished off. I thought that was going away from Spirit, but my god, did they hold on. Do you want to know an interesting thing about that? So... The flash that he bounces off the wall didn't actually get Zontares. There's a pop flash here from Magix. He gets the assist. So while he's battling for long, making sure that that's clear, he's also bouncing flashes in for his teammate. Sure, Dexter lands every shot that's put in front of him, but to in this tournament, he was the one that was subbed out. They couldn't have made a better decision to bring him back in. Yeah, and having that faith as well, because yesterday, let's be honest, he didn't have a great performance overall. He was a little bit off. But for him to come back and, and show us what he's really, truly all about is massive. But some die young. Been a bit under the radar. Decides it's his turn to take control. It's his turn to oh. lock it down. And that AWP is on point. Four kills go his way. And Dexter picks up the rest. Team Spirit may have lost the first round, but they come back with authority. And they never really had the finances to get that secondary AWP in too many times. But... This was clinical. Every shot connecting, trade kill initially, but then this defense of the site, the final shot as well was a thing of beauty. Auto Axel is a sole player lying in wait. He's got to find one, finds two, shuts it down, and he's got to escape as well. Tosses a smoke for good measure, a nade as well, and Zen. Oh, oh a sword as well from Intros. Actually, Intros burns to go alive. And Zen now left alone in a 1v4. And he converts it into 1v2. Ball planted. Yeah. Sam with a real chance to win this round. Low HP, though. That is his biggest problem. And he's going to drop into the pit. Strong position. The cover will negate the low HP slightly here. But nonetheless, we'll see how Gamba played this one. They're grouping up together. Shiro coming in with the AWP. Hobbit with the AK. They've rounded the site already. Zen has not given up his position yet. They have not spotted him. Now his position is given up. Hobbit is above him. He's gone above his position. It might just drop him behind. And there it is from Hobbit. Assassinates him. And he's going for the defuse with plenty of time still to get this through. Or is Nothing it? Person. Uh, he has no uh, kit. He has no he's kit. He's got it. Let's go. Stick up sitting in the pit. He's going to be holding on. Up the right side. Should be able to get a couple here. One, two. Third kill looking good for him. And he shut everybody down. A fourth as well. Just making sure he shuts everybody down. And Ace comes in from Sticko, cleaning up the eco. And that's 14 to 7 coming in for FPX. Life of Martin looking pretty good right now. Clean, clean. Eco Cobra Ace there. There was also a Galil being uh, purchased, so it wasn't like a full Eco Ace. Well, a little bit of an upgraded round, a couple of players there, but nonetheless, it's aggressive, especially when you have map point and you oh. know against pistols and Nathani decapitates Farley. Sticko spots a couple of players out. The Flames are going to keep the final player from pushing up towards top mid, and Sticko is going to take the fight single handedly, shutting it down. And now the 2v3 Shiro on 35 HP. Hobbit, however, has picked up the AWP. Oh, Shiro, <laughs> what? That deagle just cracking Zen's skull open. Sticko has found three in this round, and he's in towards Cubby. That Molotov's going to force him into the open, and he'll find another headshot. Could Sticko get two aces in one map? 24 rounds played. Sticko could get the second ace of the map here, and he whiffs the spray. Oh, he looked perfectly set up for it, but every bullet just flying past Hobbit's head. And he'll go back into top middle. Looking for a second chance here. Sticko has gone all the way over to B. So not looking likely that he will be able to get this unless his teammate goes down and has to play the 1v1. Madden's got a perfect position and pick. the rotation now very quickly from Sticko. Both players with AWPs. For the meantime, all three ops on the server. As that bomb will take on, Shiro looking to draw this into a 1v1 clutch if possible. 
Spots out the player on the stairs, and that drops back into middle, using the cover, a headshot onto Farlick, now looking for the 1v1, and he's missed oh. the shot, he goes up again, Sticko trying to get a dog, but Shiro with the 1v2, that is huge. The sheer nuts on the guy to go for that re-peak, so well done, so well done. And I had a feeling there, Dinko, the moment with Shiro, 1v2, I noticed that both Farley and the final player, they had AWPs that was Sticko, of course, I'm like, yeah, Shiro, he's got this in the back. He's had a kind of a quiet... As the two remaining players from FPX have crossed over. Zen so does fall victim to the M4A4, and Farley will get this bomb planted. Chris J in the middle of the bomb train itself, peace out the right side, and now it is Farley needs to absolutely destroy Gambit's chances in this round, in this 1v3. He's been chunked down to 8 HP, and winning this clutch is definitely within the realms of impossibility, but Farley would like to prove us all wrong by doing the impossible. Starting to wrap, the bomb has been tapped. Just one bullet is enough to bring him down, and they're not looking at him. They think he's upper, and that's going to allow a free kill. And I'm going for the oh. second. What a clutch from Farley. Zero and five. Doesn't matter if you're going to clutch it out like that. A 1v3, brilliantly done. A very important round to win as well. Wow, that was so well done. The first shot on the Hobbit, and then a the second one. And Fanny, not expecting Frolic to have pushed That's down cool. in a hit. The utility is limited, so going for a fake. I don't think Ooh. it's going to be ideal. And Frolic with a missed shot, but Zen's there to reply back. Three kills for him. Oh. Make that four. He shut it down all on his own single handedly, leaving Axile alone in a 1v4. What a round from Zen. Yeah, that's fantastic from Zen. The 4K, what a hole, just absolutely clears up on every play coming in. The smart repositioning as well on top of the white train when he knows that his teammate's gone down from upper, he falls back a little bit, repositions so he, he's not susceptible to death from the ramp, repositions perfectly, takes down the upper player, then finishes it off with a clean little tap to the head at the end, and Sticko. Good night! Axel knifed in the back, Sticker with a full BM as well, knives him, sprays his corpse, 15 to 11, it's grand final point coming right up for Fun Plus Phoenix. Can we point out how Sticko knives him and sprays his body and there is not a single bit of emotion on his face? The man